Hey guys, Chris from Madass Gamers here. Now in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Walking Dead video game trailer that came out just a couple of days ago. I think it was two or one or two days ago. Uh, but the game is looking awesome. Uh, the game is actually going to be based off, off the comic book series, not the TV show series. So I won't be following the story of Rick and um, all that, that group that we've seen in the TV show. Uh, so basically I'll we'll be taking a closer look, I'll pick up some things maybe you didn't see the first time you watched it. And I'll just be stopping at that point where I feel uh, I need to mention something to you. Alright, so we open up to what we can see as being uh, basically a family photo. Obviously the glass of the frame is cracked and there's blood all over it. Uh, but it's a family photo. Uh, we've got four people in there. Uh, starting with the guy on the very right, the guy with the tie. His name's actually Lee Everett. And he's one of the one of the two main characters in the game. So that's Lee Everett on the right there. In the middle, we've got what we believe to be his mum and dad, and on the left, his brother. Now, just a bit of a backstory on Lee. Uh, Lee's actually a murderer. Uh, and basically, how the game starts off is he's actually murdered his wife, and he's in the back of a cop car, handcuffed, on his way to jail. So, you know, he's killed his wife, he's on his way to jail. Um, when actually he's on his way, uh, the sort of the outbreak happens, or something the cops get attacked by zombies or something and he has a chance to escape and he does so he gets away he breaks free gets out of his handcuffs and basically that's the beginning of his story and then we'll follow his tracks from there basically alright so we keep going through here now and then um, obviously we see um, basically you see Lee there running with another little girl and now this girl was actually name is this girl's name is actually Clementine. Clementine. I can't pronounce it. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but Clementine, whatever. Um, she's actually the second main character in the game. Now, if you watch the tra the teaser trailer that came out for the game a couple of days ago, it showed basically uh, the mother, what we believe to be Clementine's ma mother, ringing uh, the babysitter to let them know that they're going to be away a, a couple of days. So obviously, her parents were away. She was at home by herself with the babysitter when the outbreak happened. And um, if you watch the teaser, you'll notice at the end, it zoomed into a, like a tree house. And um, that's actually where Clarentine was hiding when it all happened. And um, if you're wondering about the babysitter, we'll get into that in just a moment. So two main characters right there, Lee and Clarentine. And uh, we'll keep going. Here we go, The Walking Dead. Alright, so here it sort of comes down like a hole or obviously it shows that like, you know, we're going to be going through sewers, you know, that could be where people are hiding down under. So it's just to give a bit of that hint. Uh, we're not too sure who these characters are. It looks like we've got a female on the left, guy with moustache in the middle, and it could be Lee on the right there again. Alright, so we pause it here again. Now this could be going back to uh, the teaser trailer. Uh, you notice there, you've got Lee up front bashing the crap out of some zombie, uh, we got Clarentine in the back, sort of just watching. Now, um, like I mentioned, uh, Clarentine was being babysitted by a babysitter, and the zombie getting killed there is, we believe that could be the babysitter. So obviously, Lee's come, he's walked into this home randomly, or maybe he had a reason to go in there. Babysitters attacked him, he's fought back. Clarentine being hiding in the cubby, uh, the treehouse, She's, you know, wants to see what's going on, so she's come down, and um, basically that's my theory on how Clarentine and Lee will meet, and then they'll go off on their joyful adventures from there. Oh, not so joyful. So just a close up on her. Our next thing is, I'm sure a lot of people will um, realize, or is um, Herschel's farm. This is the farm. Uh, it's been in the TV show. It's been in the comic book series. Um, but there you have it, Herschel's Farm, slightly different, a bit different than what we've seen in the TV show. We've got the main house up front there, and we've got the barn to the right there. So it's pretty cool to see Herschel's Farm is going to be in there. Pretty awesome. Uh, also, if we pause it here, we've got a lady or a girl uh, who's actually got a gun pointed to her head, and as you'll see in a couple of seconds, she actually shoots herself. Uh, there we've got Lee in the background holding some guy back that actually could be her father or you know someone close to her who doesn't want her to kill herself and then we've got a new character in the background there um, looks like some sort of child or teenage kid he's obviously frightened you know not really sure what's happening and then as you see now um, kill herself alright so now we've got some characters here sitting around a campfire uh, and obviously in the bottom there a zombie with a axe in his head 
Uh, on the right there in the blue is um, what we believe to be Lee. Uh, we've got some characters around him. The girl straight ahead at the back could be the girl that just blew her brains out before. We don't know. It could be before. Uh, and if you look on the left, that may that character may look familiar to some. That We believe that character is Glenn. We know Glenn's going to be in the game, and we think that's him right there. It sort of looks like him, and so we think it's Glenn. And also, if you look into the background on the left, you'll see uh, Dale's RV. Uh, so Dale will be in the game, and his RV is going to be in the game, be in the game, which is pretty cool. Nice little close up on the zombie. Zombies actually look pretty good in this trailer. All right. Um, now this is where we get to see some actual gameplay, but here we just got uh, Lee and Glenn again, who we believe to be Glenn, uh, holding back the door. Zombies are trying to break through. The you know holding back the door so they can't get in. Alright, so we've got an introduction of some new characters now, like that little girl you saw there. Basically what's happening here is we believe that, um, as you'll see in a minute, they're actually in a pharmacy, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, now we actually believe this is the pharma pharmacy that Lee's parents own, because the backstory of Lee is that he's a bit of a pharmacist, his parents own a pharmacy, and we believe he's in his parents' store. And in a couple of moments' time you'll see that it actually says Everett's Pharmacy, or what we think it says Everett's Pharmacy. It looks similar to that. So, you know, they're trying to get some medicine or anything like any something like that. Um, they're being overrun. They're trying to hold them back. Uh, there's a lot of chaos, confusion going around. You see a little girl running and, you know, probably not sure what to do. All right, another thing I just want to mention. Uh, Telltale Games mentioned you uh, talked about having to make major life or death decisions in the game. So you as a character, you're going to have to make a lot of decisions in the game that will have a major effect. You know, you, some people will die, you know, all that sort of stuff. And here we believe they're hinting at one of those decisions or showing off the sort of decisions you have to make. So here we see uh, basically one of the characters ha has her foot uh, being held by one of the zombies. So obviously she's all, uh, she's kind of trapped. She's going to need someone to help, help her or save her. Uh, then we got this guy here who's holding back the zombies and looks like a boarded up window. They're breaking through. They're on the verge of breaking through, you know, he can't hold much longer. And um, we believe this could be one of the decisions, like I was saying before, you know, it's going to be either him or her. You know, tell that guy just to let him through, then run away, or, you know, tell him to keep holding on, you know, keep stopping him and to go save that other chick. You know, I don't know. But then if we skip to the next scene here, uh, you know, we see the guy holding the door again, the zombie's trying to break through, and we see Lee in the background there, you know, he's sort of... It looks a bit, I don't know, it's, I think they put that shot there for a reason, you know, because he knows he's going to have to make a decision. And I think uh, tell, Telltale Games are hinting at that, that hinting that at this point in time he's going to have to make a decision. Uh, so it's a bit of an overview there of what Lee's seen, you know, the girl on the right, the guy on the left, who are you going to save, the zombies coming in, you've got to make a decision pretty quick. And then obviously to prove that they're in the pharmacy, uh, we've got the store, or an outside view, the zombies coming closer, and it's got drugs on there. So, obviously, they're in um, what we believe to be Everett's pharmacy, his family pharmacy. Uh, maybe he went back there looking for his parents. Maybe he thought his parents might be back there. Maybe they're already dead. We don't know. Uh, but that's everything we know so far. Um, that's everything I picked up. If I've missed something, please leave a comment in the comment section below. But if you did like this video, guys, if you're excited for the Walking Dead video game, please give this video a thumbs up, a like, a favorite, whatever you want to call it. And please subscribe for more Walking Dead videos to come in the future. Uh, so yeah, like I said, thanks for watching and peace.